म महेन्द्र प्रसाद अधिकारी आज विशेष गरी एसी परीक्षा दिने परीक्षार्थी विद्यार्थी भाई बहनीहरुको अध्ययनमा के सहायता पुगोस र रेफरेंस मटेरियल रूपमा काम गरोस भनेर मैले साइंस अर्थात विज्ञान विषयको विशेष गरी अंग्रेजी माध्यम अथवा इंग्लिश मिडियममा बाट परीक्षामा लेख्नु हुने विद्यार्थी भाई बहनीहरुको लागि युट्युब मार्फत के मटेरियलहरु रेफरेंस मटेरियल का रूप में मैंने प्रस्तुत करने जमर को करेगो सु तब यार ले इसलाय हेरेरा इसमें सही तब यार को कमेंट मार्फत मलाई सजेशन दिनो वाला जल्ले सही मलाई आज ये इसमें थप परिस्क्रित भाई रागड़ी बनना मदद करने सा रा तब यार एग्जाम को प्रिपेश में उन्हें भागो कारण ले परीक्षा को तैयारी को क्रम में तब यार पुनर्व बाजाना करी सा रा साइंस लाइक विशेष करी आ टोटल साइंस सब्जेक्ट लाइक ऐसी ही कोलागी तीस चार चैप्टर बाटर फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायोलॉजी एस्नोमीरा जियोलॉजी करी आ विशेष करी चार भाग में बाढ़ी को सा एस्नोमीरा जियोलॉजी लाइक उटा भाग माने रा रा तीस में से त्यों मध्य मामले � रा तब यार लाइक विशेष करी चार थरी का क्वेश्चन को बारे में तब मेरे जाना करूँ ना जैसे फिजिक्स के उदाहरण भी नहीं होने सिक्स वाला चैप्टर बाटा टोटल बारह वाला क्वेश्चन आउट सम जहाँ से नॉलेज लेवल को बेरी सर्ट क्वेश्चन आंसर गणित टाइप को वन मार्क को क्वेश्चन पांच वाला आउट सम तीस � फोर मार्क्स कैरी करने वन क्वेश्चन रहने सा ऐसे री टोटल मार्क ट्वेल क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी थ्री मार्क्स फिजिक्स वाले रहे कौन सा रा इस ये संदर्भ का वेरी सर क्वेश्चन मार के सार डेफिनेशन आरु के न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू आरु अथवा तेज को वैल्यू आरु सोने इस तरह टाइप का रा डेफिनेशन बेस्ड वाका आंसर होने खाल का क्वेश्चन आ रहा हूँ। उनसे निश्चित बने टू मार्क्स, थ्री मार्क्स या फोर मार्क्स में तीसरे की तेई प्रकार का क्वेश्चन आ रहा हूँ। वही जैसा अनुसार का क्वेश्चन आ रहा हूँ। अंडरस्टैंडिंग लेवल में तीसरे की अप्लिकेशन लेवल में हाईर अवित लेवल में राय काउंसन। रहा ये संदर्� हाईर अभिलिखित का हमने नॉलेज ला ट्रांसफर्म करे लेखना पर निकाल का क्वेश्चन और आंसर तब ऐसे तीस में अपने प्रैक्टिस कर दे उन्होंने उनसे वाला रो आज हम ले बिजनेस के लिए चैप्टर फिजिक्स को चैप्टर वन फोर्स बात हम ले आज एक वीडियो मां मेरे मचियल और लाई प्रेजेंटेशन कर दे शु रो बिजनेस के कूलर पोस डेट में चेंज द स्टेट ऑफ मोशन और रेस्ट सेफ एंड साइज एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ अ बॉडी एंड सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ फोर्स फोर्सेस आर ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स सेंटीमीटर फोर्स सेंटीफिकल फोर्स मैग्नेटिक फोर्स एट्सेट्रा बट वी आर कंसंट्रेट इन दिस चैप्टर मोस्टली अबाउट द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स एंड वी डील अब and before starting the gravitational force to define and uh, to derive its formula, we concentrate about two uh, theories which are uh, geocentric theory, geocentric theory, and another one heliocentric. theory before defining these uh, two theories you must know about the meaning of these parts geo means earth centric means to which it is concentrated or to which it it is supposed to be centered helio means sun and the next one is centric this means uh, this geocentric theory uh, was uh, uh, 
considered from before 16th century and this theory uh, mainly emphasize that or it, uh, this theory uh, is concerned that the earth remains in the center of the universe such that other heavenly bodies including the sun and uh, planets revolve around the earth that means earth is supposed to be in center of the universe to which other heavenly objects revolve around and it was believed before 16th century and another is heliocentric theory in which the sun is supposed to be in the center of the universe such that other objects like planet and satellites revolve around the sun that is what we now uh, consider it is truth that means according to this on the basis of this Sir Isaac Newton started to explore started to investigate and started to discover about the uh, facts why the other heavenly object revolved around the sun and he formulated different uh, uh, laws okay now we go to the gravitation gravitation or gravitational force or force of gravitation now we go to definition definition may come in one mark also and it can be added with the definition the other things may lead the weight is more than one marks according to type of question gravitation or force of gravitation or gravitational force the same thing gravitation gravitation force of gravitation or gravitational force gravitational force all these terms has the same have the same meaning or no matter whatever these all three things given you must uh, know that it is the same thing here is tion yes tion tion that means gravitation the same thing okay the force of attraction between any two objects of the universe is called gravitation or force of gravitation or gravitational force suppose this is one object this is another object it has the mass suppose it has m1 m1 mass and it has the mass m2 suppose uh, there is the distance d between their centers then the force by which these two bodies attract each other is called gravitational force which is denoted by generally capital F. Like the other force, the gravitational force also has the same unit, SI unit, that is Newton. Newton is the SI unit of force and it is also a force. Okay, now we go to, this much you know, you must know this much only here. Now, Newton's law of gravitation. Newton's law of Newton's law of gravitation. Gravitation. Sometimes Newton's law of gravitation is also called the universal law of gravitation. Why? Uh, I think you know. Newton's law of gravitation is called the universal law of gravitation because this law holds true or this law exists between any two objects of the universe. Universe ma bhaka junsu ki dhuita object ko bishma Newton ko gravitation ko law sahi exists garsa true unsa was true held true unsa ane vanne karan le ne yalla ke vanne chata universal law pani vanne gari cha Ava Newton's law of gravitation ma amle simply barkhari pade uni dhuita object or ko bishko gravitational force ko kura liya ten barkhari inir ko bishko distance d cha suppose and the force gravitational force is yaf and distance between them from their center is d at that time newton uh, 
has derived a law. That means the gravitational force between any two objects, suppose mass m1 and m2, are the masses of two objects, first and second respectively, suppose a and b. Uh, gravitational force between any two objects is directly proportional to product of their masses. And that gravitational force is inversely proportional to square of distance between their centers or distance between them. These two parts of the law can combinedly form the law which is called Newton's law of gravitation. And uh, this law may come in one macroson or two macroson including other parts or can be uh, added to other parts, other uh, necessary parts to form particular type of questions. Generally it is a uh, basic type of knowledge level type of question it, if it comes to define. Okay, define means we have to state here. Newton's law of gravitation states that. It states that and you mentioned all the things that I just mentioned. The gravitational force, the gravitational force force between any two any two heavenly bodies heavenly bodies is directly proportional to directly proportional to What? The product of their masses to the product to the product of their masses of their masses and inversely proportional to proportional to the square of distance square of distance between them or between their centers distance between them Them. These two parts of the laws combinedly forms the Newton's law of gravitation. That is gravitational force directly proportional to here product of their masses. You have to remove this thing and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. It is called Newton's law of gravitation. Sometimes in sub question it, uh, it might have been asked uh, like that. What is the relationship between gravitational force of force between two objects to with their masses? What is the relationship between gravitational force between two objects with their distance? If the questions come like this, you have to split that part. Gravitational force, there is relationship between the gravitational force between two objects and their masses is the gravitational force between two objects is directly proportional to their to directly proportional to the product of their masses that is you explain you like the symbolically this degree the relationship between gravitational force between two objects with their distance is Gravitational force is inversely proportional to square of distance between the two objects. That is, F proportional to 1 by d square. That means F is inversely proportional to d square. Like this to be written. Now, a derivation to derive the Newton's uh, law of gravitation in terms of formula. To derive 
to derive f equals to g m1 m2 over d square okay to derive f equals to g m1 m2 over d square or sometime it is uh, also acts like this state Newton's law of gravitation you have to um, study it and uh, express the formula of it or prove this verify this like this so now we have to go for solution you have to draw this first suppose this is mass m1 first object with the mass m1 and next object with the mass m2 suppose this is these are their centers, M1, let's write here, uh, centers, suppose this distance is D, between their centers, and the force of attraction between them, that means the gravitational force, yeah, its mass is m1 this is m2 this is m1 m1 m2 let's make it more clear this is m2 m1 and m2 okay now let's explain about this M1, M2, D and F in an organized matter, whatever uh, language it may be, but you have to include all these things which we are using here symbolically. Let F be the gravitational force, gravitational force between 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 two objects two objects of mass masses m1 and m2 M2 kept at kept at D distance apart. You may organize your language yourself, but it should include all the things F, M1, M2, and D. M1, M2, and D. Suppose uh, F is the gravitational force between two objects of the mass. M1 and M2 kept at distance D apart from now from Newton's law of gravitation from Newton's law of gravitation and just before we have talked about Newton's law of gravitation where we have used all the symbols with their usual meanings so that we can directly write the relationship in mathematical term. From Newton's law of gravitation, first one is F is proportional to M1 dot M2. That means F is directly proportional to M1 times M2. And F is inversely proportional to square of distance between them. This is second equation. Now uh, I have to draw here due to the space problem of this board. Now, from equations first and second, you combine here. From equations first and second, we get F is proportional to M1 times M2 divide by 
d square and uh, you must know while replacing the proportional g sign by the equal to we have to keep some constant some constant that constant sometime may be standard constant sometime may be of any alphabet here we have to keep the standard constant which is called universal gravitational constant or f equals to we replace this by equal to n universal gravitational constant z this one is replaced now uh, yeah equals to z times m1 times m2 being divided by d square and the formula has come here that's why we have to highlight it f equals to z m1 m2 over d square d square which is the required expression where yeah here we have kept here z we have to mention where where z is the universal universal gravitational let's draw this part all right universal gravitational constant we have to define it later on constant therefore the result has come f equals to g m1 m2 over d square it has been proved if it is asked to prove you have to write proved if it is derived asked to derive derived proved in this way we have derived newton's law of gravitation in terms of equation and uh, next time we will define what is universal gravitational constraint in what factors gravitational force depend on and uh, so so on uh, that's why uh, being the introductory class i will started some uh, parts uh, within the chapter force and remaining parts we will discuss uh, in next video and so many things definitions uh, give reason type of questions numerical problem solution uh, similarly differentiation etc till then uh, bye goodbye thank you